Hey my YouTube fam lamb, do you want to see how I make this juicy, tender, moist, delectable, flavorful, pan seared chuck roast? I'll show you how. Stay tuned. Okay y'all, I have two ways that I make my chuck roast. One way is of course the traditional way in the slow cooker, low and slow for about six to eight hours with the, some potatoes and some carrots. The other way that I make my chuck roast is what I'm gonna show you in today's video. Now, in this pot, I've already cleaned and washed my chuck roast. Right here, there's one and there's two chuck rolls. What I had them in is a huge pot, my huge pot, and what I'm gonna do is let these cook until this water is all boiled out, and then I'm going to let them pan sear as I would a delicious steak. So the water you see, of course is water, um, some beef base, I have some beef base in here, and I have, I think I put some onion powder, some adobo, um, what else do I have in here? And a couple of herbs and seasonings that I cannot remember, but what I'm gonna do is let this cook in this pot, low and slow, until the water has evaporated all out. Then, I'll be back to show you guys what I do in the second step. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, now my chuck roast is on phase two. It has cooked down in this broth and seasoning, and now I am about to add in. Now this, let me see, this cooked, this has probably been cooking, I had to refill the stock water about three times. This has probably been cooking for about maybe four hours, about three and a half, four hours. So now what I'm adding is some white onion. Add my white onion in there. Get that all broken up. Got my white onion. And I'm going to add some minced garlic. Just a bit. I'm going to add in butter. This is unsalted butter. I'm probably adding in about a stick of butter probably about a stick. I am going to add some rosemary. This rosemary just goes with beef so good. Okay, got some rosemary. And lastly, I am going to add some Montreal steak seasoning. Now what you want this to do is you want this to continue to cook. Now you can turn your fire up to a medium high because what you want to do is cook all of these juices out and by the time those juices are cooked out the onions are going to be nice and caramelized the steak is going to be, or excuse me, steak, the chuck roast is going to be nice and seared, but when it gets done, you're going to think you're biting into a nice cut of steak. Okay, so I got that going, so I'm going to let this go, and I will be back to show you guys the finished product. It's going to be amazing. And here you guys have the finished product. Juicy, tender, flavorful chuck roast. If you're looking for a different way to cook your chuck, chuck roast, I definitely recommend this way. It is delicious. We paired it with a 
beautiful baked potato and a nice side salad it was absolutely amazing as always i thank you guys so much for watching everyone take care stay safe and stay blessed